Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Grumpus on Fire. I'm Grumpus. Well, tonight's video is a collaboration video with some other YouTubers. Uh, if you want to see who all participated, uh, run a search on hashtag Meatloaf Throwdown and you'll see what everybody else has prepared. I've changed my format up a little bit tonight. Uh, this was a, uh, a two-day cook for me. Well, not really a two-day cook. It was a one day of prep and another day of cooking. So uh, anyway, let me know what you think of the new format and let me know what you think of the video. So leave your comments down below. I sure appreciate it. So back and enjoy.
Well, folks, it's been three hours and 11 minutes. Let's check our turkey meatloaf. Let's see where we're at. We're going to make sure we go all the way down into the middle of the dressing. We're up 166. I don't know if you can see that or not. This thing is done. So we are going to put our glaze on it real quick and let that go for about another 10 minutes. We've got our cranberry brown sugar glaze. Just gonna put some of that right over the top of it. How's it? Spread that around a little bit more. Turn this around. This has been quite the long process, but I think it's gonna be well worth the wait. Cranberries up on the top. And we got a little bit left. Let's just go ahead and let it drizzle down the top. There we go. Alright, let's let that set up a little bit. We'll give it about another, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. And then we'll pull this off. Our turkey meatloaf has been on the pit now for three hours and 32 minutes. We've reached an internal temperature of 170. Well, it's getting late. I think we'll go ahead and take this inside, let it cool off. Uh, we'll let it rest maybe uh, 45 minutes and we'll cut into it and see how she looks. Uh, hopefully it'll hold together. And this long day has been worth it. Well, there it is. Our turkey and dressing meatloaf. Been resting now for about uh, 45 minutes. I guess we need to cut that open and see how she looks. I guess I didn't plan this very well. I don't know how I'm going to get it out of there. I guess we'll just go right across the middle. And just cut it like a cake, I guess. Well, at least it's firm. I was afraid it's going to go everywhere. See if we can get a chunk out of this. Yeah. Piece about like that. First one's always a booger, isn't it? Yep, that didn't work. Try something else. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Got some potatoes and gravy. Only thing left now is to try it. Well, here we go. Give it a test. Tastes like Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. The dressing's nice and moist. If I had to do this again, I probably wouldn't put the egg. I don't think it needed it. It kind of firmed it up a little more than I'd like. But the taste is there. That Uncle Steve's. I put the original inside the meat mixture. 
and then we put some competition bird powder on the outside as a winner. Well, there you have it. That's my entry into the hashtag meatloaf throwdown. Uh, I'll list some uh, other participants down below, the ones I know about. Uh, just run a search, hashtag meatloaf throwdown, and uh, everybody in this collaboration will be show up in that playlist. So this has been a long drawn out cook. Uh, I've had a lot of fun doing it, but I'm also glad it's over. So uh, if you like what we did today and last night, uh, hit me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? We'd sure appreciate it if you want to do that. And be sure and share the video with all your friends. Thanks for tuning in to Grumpus on Fire. I'm Grumpus. We'll see you next time.